Hi everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Joey Fight. I'm the founder of thephysicaleducator.com and I'm also a phys ed teacher here in Montreal, Canada where I teach at St. George's School of Montreal. What you're watching right now, this is a Scope vlog. It's a physical education vlog I put together every now and then when I have something cool that I'd like to share with other phys ed teachers. Now, usually I do this vlog live on Periscope. However, today I'm doing a pre-recorded version because there's an app that I'd like to show you. And to show you the app, I kind of have to show you shots of my, my iPad screen. Uh, it's kind of weird when I try and do that holding my phone filming my iPad. So I decided to do this pre-recorded. Now the app I'm gonna be talking to you about today is an app called Paper by a company named 53. It's an app I've been using in my teaching a ton these days. Uh, and I'll show you all the interesting ways that I've been using it. Now just before I jump to my iPad screen here and show you the app, I just wanna show you one thing that I love using with this app and that is 53's stylus, which they call pencil. So I'll let you take a look at that right there. Um, so the stylus, uh, the <laughs> pencil stylus is just like another stylus. So it has like that rubber tip um, that you can use to write on the on your iPad. But what I really love about it is it actually has a, another rubber tip on the other end too. So you can just flip the, paper, the pencil and erase on, on the paper app. Um, one last thing I love about my stylus is that it's magnetic, so it connects to my iPad, it will, it will stick to my iPad wherever I bring it. And also when I'm teaching, I just throw it up, I, I really like throw it <laughs> onto my whiteboard and it just hangs out there until I need it next. Now obviously you don't need this when you're using the paper app. I got this one as a gift, they're kind of pricey. Um, but I just wanted to give it a shout out because I really do love using it. And it's it accompanies the, uh, the app I'm about to show. Anyways, all that being said, how about I show you how I use paper in my teaching? All right, so welcome to my iPad. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you how I use the paper app. So I'm gonna launch paper here. And when you launch, what you'll get is you'll be brought to your most recent notebook. Now, it's cool to know that in paper, you can organize all of your drawings, all of your pictures, all of your screenshots uh, into notebooks. I try and create a new notebook for every unit that I start with my students, uh, just because it helps me keep everything a little bit organized and it helps me jump back and forth and find notes quickly. But for right now, I've just created a demo one uh, so I can show you. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a drawing. So on the white tab down here at the bottom, I'm gonna click that little squiggly line and that's gonna open up a drawing note. So when I have my drawing note open, I have different things here. I have different types of pencils and tools that I can use. I have some interesting tools here to create things that I'll talk about in a second. I have a, a color swatch that I can use to get just the right color. I can also double tap that and even use um, a color picker uh, when trying to find which color I want. And I have my color picker uh, over here that I can use to influence my color swatch. So if I'm going red there, I can go and find just the right hue of purple or red or blue that I'm looking for. So you'll see on the left hand side uh, of this tab here, this card po that pops up, there's a little white icon with a pencil. That's because I have a stylus right now in my hands and it's connected. To connect it, it's really cool. You just press the pencil against that little icon until it turns white and that lets you know that your stylus is connected via Bluetooth to your app. So if I'm gonna draw here, so I'm just gonna draw a little bit uh, and I can say uh, hi. So all I'm doing is I'm clicking on the colors that I want down here in the picker so if I go in that deep purple, um, I guess it's more black. <laughs> uh, I can do. I can just select a color like that, or I can get really picky and use a color swatch to find the right color I'm looking for. You notice also if I'm drawing and I go over the tab, uh, the tab disappears, which is nice. It gets out of the way. To bring it back, you just pull up from the bottom and it'll reappear. Now one thing that's cool too that I really like is, as I mentioned before, I can flip my, my pencil stylus uh, to use it as an eraser to erase parts. But another way of doing it is by double uh, by tapping the screen with two fingers, I'll pull up this little um, feature here, and by scrolling around in a clockwise or counterclockwise fashion, I can go back in time right to the point that I want to be at uh, where I was in my drawing. So that's one of the interesting things you can do with the drawing to, uh, um, notes. Another thing I want to show you is how you can create shapes really easily. So using the pencil and ruler tool that you see here, uh, let's say I want to talk to my students about our adventure pyramid. Well, I can just draw a pyramid and paper will recognize the fact that I was trying to draw a pyramid and make it a nice, straight, uh, perfect pyramid. 
I can also create some lines here in my pyramid and it'll turn it into uh, straight lines. Now the app is smart enough to understand that I was trying to divide that um, pyramid into different, into different sections. So if I use the paint roller tool and select let's say blue and tap the top, well only that section will turn blue. Uh, let's say I want my middle part green, well I could do that too, and the bottom part yellow. So there you have it, it's filling up all the different parts. Um, I'm just gonna go back here. So that's one of the cool things you can do with the, the shape uh, tool. Uh, another thing you can do is, let's say I'm trying to show my students a diagram, uh, let's say a play or get them to understand a tactic or whatever it may be. So I'm gonna draw a little circle here, let's say I'll fill it in uh, with yellow, all right? And if I want to duplicate this and make several, all I have to do is press and hold on it, on that circle. I can move it anywhere onto the screen, or if I tap outside of it anywhere on the screen, it will create a copy wherever it is. So if I want to make multiples of these, I could easily make them and set up whatever diagram it is. Using the scissors tool, I can pick whichever one I want and I can move it around. I use this a lot when I'm trying to get students to understand um, different dynamic situations in games and in sports. Uh, you can also select obviously multiple uh, objects and move them around as well. So that's kind of how I use the drawing notes feature. I also really use the photos notes feature. So on this tab here at the bottom, if I click the little camera icon, um, it'll pull up the camera. Now, if I go to my photo library uh, and to my paper album, I can import images from uh, my, cam my photo library. And what's cool of this is that once the image is imported and resized, I can go back to my drawing tool and then draw on top of it. So for example, if I was going over the what, why, how of my students, well, we could do it and we could write it out as we're going through. If students had a couple of things that they want to add, I could quickly add those. If we want to see how it evolved over time, we could do that as well um, using the, the forward and backwards feature here, the, the history feature. Uh, it's just really handy to be able to draw on top of photos. Now that isn't only true with um, imported photos. Let's say I want to take a live photo. So I, I don't have a live photo right now, but let's say I was, taking, I was teaching gymnastics and we're talking about basis of support and I quickly snapped a picture here of my students uh, doing a, um, a balance. Well, going back to that drawing feature, what's nice is that I can quickly draw out my students. So here I'll highlight the, the points of contact uh, in yellow. And then I can also draw my student out. I'll draw them out, just do a little stick figure. So I've got the arms here, the head there, the one leg going up and the one leg and foot going down. Uh, so I can annotate a picture like that, and if I go back to the photo tab and click on the delete feature, well, all that's left is the drawing that I made. So kids can really start to understand uh, the different shapes, the different bases of support they're using, and we can have conversations surrounding that. That's really, really handy um, whenever I'm trying to annotate a skill or get kids to understand different critical elements or different movement concepts um, related to, to fundamental movement skills. Um, so yeah, there's also a text feature where you can go and you can add text uh, to a note. I very, very rarely use that, but you could definitely use that if you want to have some text prepared underneath a note that you prepared prior to class, uh, which would be really handy. Just one last thing that I'll do too sometimes, uh, if I go back to my photos here and I'll go back to my album. Let's say in this case here, I have the critical elements of a skill. Well, prior to class, what I can do is I'll go get my shapes uh, uh, tool and I'll draw shapes over this and fill them in. And then I can have a little bit of a quiz with my students. So if I'm asking them what are the critical elements of um, leaping in this situation, well, I can have them hidden prior to that conversation. And then as the students answer, I can slowly but surely uh, erase them and take them away and reveal the answer underneath of it. The kids really like that. They love seeing that their answers pop up like that. And this is just an image I created uh, in PowerPoint or Google Slides or Keynote um, prior to my lesson. So yeah, so that's kind of how I've been using paper. Uh, lots of different ways. Um, I'll also have the students do mind maps on it or we'll do a mind map as a class as we try to understand all the different skills, different tactics related to games. Um, 
will, like I said, will annotate things. I'll sometimes take pictures of paper sheets that the students have to fill out in class and I'll project it up onto the TV and I'll actually draw on top of it showing the st students how to fill out their sheet. It's just a really handy app to have around. Like I said, I'm in and out of it nonstop throughout my class and I've just really been loving it. So I thought maybe you'd like it too. So that's why I decided to share it with you. All right, so that's Paper, an app I've been using a ton in my teaching lately that I thought maybe you'd be interested in. If you'd like to learn more about Paper or access any of the templates that I talked about in the video, or just learn more about the, the pencil stylus, uh, feel free to check out the full blog post that accompanies this video on thephysicaleducator.com. Once again, my name is Joey Fight. I'm the founder of thephysicaleducator.com. Thanks so much for watching and happy teaching.